Hi, and uh, welcome back to the uh, King of Smut 95 is playing Minecraft. And uh, here I am, I'm on the uh, Java server for uh, a, a local server called uh, Lucy the First. And uh, this uh, server that uh, she's running, she's going to be moving from one to another. And so before she gets it all destroyed, uh, I'm going to basically record uh, all the progress I've done on this particular one and before she migrates it all over to the new one. And who knows, maybe it will actually exist on the new one. So let's go through some of the stuff that uh, I've done. So first thing is, is my house, which is basically a big sign that uh, is, which is uh, lined in smut. And uh, it was initially like a Hollywood sign, but uh, you know, it converted to house. And uh, so basically I have these barrels uh, right here by my bed, which is all full of the various different kind of food and stuff that I've uh, stockpiled and whatnot. Um, and uh, you know, basically, you know, have it free to access. But yeah, entire the smuts I used to be um, dug into the side of a mountain, but of course, uh, you know, the mountain has been cleared away, and so that's why I put uh, glass in the back part. Since I, uh, so, so this is my magic chest. I've got a bunch of uh, enchantments and that kind of stuff all sort of uh, started here, and um, basically right beside the magic table and the crafting table. Over here has all my uh, potion storage and uh, glass storage here. Okay, and over on this side of the wall, I have some, you know, some miscellaneous, uh, uh, you know, chests full of uh, random uh, kind of stuff that I haven't uh, decided to, you know, dump into the public uh, dump space area uh, or in the mall there. And over here, I've uh, got uh, basically you know my my main working chests, which have uh, you know there's four of them in a row here, which you know, big, you know basically contain all the you know the main things that I, I use from you know from a daily sort of uh, perspective. So supplies, uh, stuff that's already been minted, some more of the you know more main crafting things, and of course uh, some of the more valuable things all on these four chests here. Alright, let's go outside uh, again and let's go around to the front of the building and let's see what uh, we got planted at the front. So, uh, you can see by the big uh, front of the big smut sign is my, my garden and it's all got a bunch of uh, redstone um, dispensers which, uh, which run water across there to basically run all the plants and that kind of stuff here and uh, they basically keep it all irrigated without actually using ponds and stuff. And over here is a small scale uh, mushroom farm, which I kept down here, mostly in the dark. It's just uh, kind of starting out, so I'll make it bigger once I, you know, uh, have more uh, things to it. And quickly over here is the back of the unit. Um, I'm, so I haven't finished making all the glass. That's what all the glass inside that uh, thing was for, basically to basically build this into the big uh, sort of a greenhouse uh, uh, area, not what not there. Um, and it will fill that in once uh, I can glass it all in, okay? And then of course the steps to make me go all the way back up to the top again here. Okay, so I'll quickly go back outside and we'll show you what uh, the berry farm looks like here. So here we have basically three rows of uh, berries, uh, the length of the, my, my entire house, and basically it gives you the ability to basically go down uh, the each row of the uh, berries and basically be able to harvest them really quickly and uh, you know, basically get a whole bunch of them uh, uh, and feed yourself with that. Okay, over here I have uh, built a uh, shooting arcade which is basically a big maze within the trees where mobs can form and got a chest here full of uh, various things that you can put into and uh, borrow and use like uh, swords and arrows and basically allows you to go through and shoot the various mobs and things uh, inside the uh, maze uh, like an arcade and so you can get some experience points and uh, and some uh, mob drops while you're at it so here you are playing in the uh, mob arcade okay so beside the arcade uh, here so after I do uh, some shooting and that kind of stuff I have built a uh, snowman farm and uh, here we have uh, a build a snowman craft and also um, a fish generator over here so I'll go over the snowman farm first Okay, so the snowman generating uh, uh, ice generator here 
is you basically first step one you have to stand on that red square so I stand on that and then I pull up my shovel and I can then basically start harvesting the snow from underneath the snowman here and then once I basically get uh, four stacks of 16 then I can build basically a 16 block of snow for making snowmen in the craft of snowman section so we'll quickly craft up someone's here okay then we walk over to the craft uh, a snowman so we can make a live snowman step one we got to get uh, two blocks and put it into the hopper down here and then we have to drop a carved pumpkin head on the two blocks and so we have a nice uh, convenient uh, crafting uh, table supplies here with uh, some pumpkins and pumpkin seeds and some snow already and so we need to get uh, some uh, carved pumpkin heads uh, to use for our, our uh, crafting here and then we'll go over to the crafting table and uh, make some blocks of ice using those new snowballs that we just made and uh, then we can then be able to put those on top of the snowman to make the snowman okay so in the hopper we first drop our two blocks of snow here and then we switch over and we put the carved pumpkin head on top of that and boom boom boom, boom. we make uh, two uh, snowmen here and they wander off into the uh, We'll drop two more here, get two more pumpkin heads, and uh, drop them on top there, make two more. So we got uh, four new pumpkins, and uh, there we go. Where's no man? Okay, I'll show you the farm later, but first of all, we'll do the fish uh, AFK farm here. Okay, so this is the uh, uh, fishing experience points uh, AFK farm, and basically, uh, it's relatively simple to understand. The instructions are written on the board here, but basically, uh, you want to stand on, on the, uh, f the chest in front of the water table, not in the water. Uh, then you have to uh, cast a rod, uh, point at the music box, and then basically hold down the uh, music uh, uh, button so that the music box continues playing. Then you can then uh, collect uh, all your loot on below and then uh, uh you know you can get yourself so first of all we stand on the chest here we then we cast our fishing rod into the water point our crosshairs at the music box and then we hold down the right mouse button and that causes it to play um and basically uh, while it jigs uh, the uh, fishing rod uh, you will know when it, when it catches something when the table pops up that's when uh, whatever you've caught to basically hits the top of the table and then lands on the hopper and then land and gets distributed to the chest below. So uh, you can sit here and uh, do this uh, while you're AFK. Um, uh, you know, basically you use a small little something uh, to basically hold down the uh, right click uh, button on your mouse and it'll continually do this and continually catch things for you. So I'm gonna speed up the process and uh, let's see uh, what we can catch. You can also use um, uh, enchantments on your rod, like uh, Luck of the Sea, or Unbreaking, or Mending, to help you make it last longer, or hopefully get, you know, get better stuff. But in the end, yes, uh, all the stuff that you do catch uh, while you do this, you go downstairs here and get it from the chest below. Okay, so back outside, I'm going to show you the uh, small pumpkin farm and, of course, the uh, rest of the uh, pumpkin uh, snowman uh, storage area uh, just outside here. Okay, so right over here, I have a small pumpkin farm here so that uh, you can take the pumpkin seeds and grow uh, actual pumpkins over here. I also have uh, these glass blocks uh, in the ground here, which lets light into the underground um, uh, snowman storage area here. So this is all... Uh, let's in natural lighting to the uh, underground uh, uh, snowman farm here and here's the entrance for the snowman habitat and then you go down here and you can see uh, a natural shaded area uh, for all these snowmen to basically run around and uh, you know basically generate snow and that kind of stuff And here's the spot that we uh, initially made the, the snowman with right here. 
or from the uh, crap sender. Okay, so the other uh, big thing that I've done, uh, not instead of just uh, building and whatnot, is I've done a lot of adventuring on this map. So basically what I did is in each of the various directions, I carved a tunnel uh, through uh, everything that's in my way, basically, to make a large thing. So this way, uh, on the east, as you see, I've built a tunnel all along this uh, one particular uh, coordinate and uh, marked out uh, like a road map uh, where all the things go. And so let's go and follow this and uh, see what uh, things uh, that I managed to find. So here I've basically built a rest stop, which basically has a um, a bed and uh, you know crafting table and a chest that you can store you know some supplies and that stuff and directions how to get back to smut and then we just continue onwards. Okay, rest stop number two. Okay, we have here a pair of waterfalls here. Okay, next rest stop right over here. Yet another rest stop right over here. Okay, the next rest stop uh, in the middle of nowhere here, um, right beside the uh, lava flow uh, that's exposed uh, fall here, lava fall, and that's just right over here. Okay, we uh, continue along to the uh, sea and uh, continue along the tunnel. There's some uh, left open mines here. Okay, you can see it's sort of starting to enter the uh, sea biome here. So uh, we're getting really, really close. Okay, another short and quick uh, rest stop right here. Uh, and it looks like I can almost see the, uh, the sea at the end of the tunnel here, so it should be not much longer. Okay, another short and quick uh, rest stop right here. Oh, do I see the fire in the edge of the bay here? And we finally have made it. Uh, you know, 212 on the way there. There's the my signature words, uh, smut, uh, the garden here, uh, the final rest stop in, in the end here, just lots of, uh, the, the sand there, of course, the, the smut, uh, laid out on the, on the farm there, a waterfall, so yeah, this is a great little situation at the very, very end of the, uh, the map here. Okay, so that was the, uh, sea route. Now I'm going to try the, the uh, last route, which is the, uh, route that, uh, points south, so we start from my base again, I'm just going to, Load up with uh, some uh, miscellaneous stuff to throw at uh, some of the various uh, uh, rest stops along the way uh, just to get them refilled. And then I'll show you what it looks like uh, on the uh, south um, uh, connector uh, on this particular map. So basically, uh, here it is, the entrance to the uh, south uh, connector. And again, same way I've done, I've marked out uh, all the various different uh, rest stops and uh, you know, points of interest along the southern route that we can go to. And, uh, you know, so we're going to basically enter the tunnel and let's go down there.
All right, here's the first rest stop here before uh, continuing down the tunnel here. Okay, and then we'll just uh, fast forward uh, down this uh, tunnel here a little bit uh, to, to our first uh, sort of a notable um, uh, exhibit site here. So uh, yeah, uh, so a lot of these things are, were you know, planned to be put into the new server when they moved it over, but uh, you know, again, they've added a, 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 an RPG section to the, the new server, and it's unfortunately not really as functional as it should be, um, and so the, the build is uh, not as nice. Anyway, so here we come up to um, the first uh, you know villager farm here. Uh, so lots of uh, you know facilities for trading and that kind of stuff here, and this is going to be uh, pretty cool. Uh, when we get here. Uh, so again, yeah, this this uh, uh, pure server um, uh, has uh, you know some nice uh, things uh, go going with it. There's a really nice uh, you know c city community thing that uh, they had built, and it was really really nice. But uh, uh, when they moved to the new server, they uh, they were unable to transfer that over. So uh, when they have the new server, um, you know they'll have to rebuild all that stuff. Anyway, so here comes across uh, my next uh, pit stop here. Before we get into the um, uh, the next thing, uh, past the uh, the first village, so this is the uh, first uh, pit stop closest to the actual village, and uh, there's a you know some uh, hidden mines and that kind of stuff uh, uh, also here. Okay, so we're coming up to the next uh, rest stop here, some burning skeletons here. Um, so this rest stop is the the first um, sort of uh, rest stop that I've built uh, that has a uh, animal holding pen uh, right beside it. So I've started uh, basically building this uh, area here uh, to uh, get capture and put uh, some of the animals down there to keep them in hold uh, in case they need to get them for breeding or whatever or other resources that need for them. Okay, so we come uh, out of the tunnel, and uh, here comes our next uh, sort of attraction here. Uh, this thing is the um, uh, Pillager Village uh, tower thing that I found. Um, now, in order to uh, basically combat the all the pillagers that kept coming out of this thing, um, what I did is I uh, basically um, decided to build a wall around it. So I built a little base uh, right beside it here. Um, and then basically build a wall around it, and then we can build a basically a pillager farming area. So I made, made a quick little rest stop here with a bed, so that you know, when I died off, uh, I would uh, respawn here. And I uh, had a few supplies and that kind of stuff ready to basically um, either do wall building or uh, do farming uh, of the uh, villagers over here. All right, so here we go. I'm just gonna equip myself with a sword here and then uh, I'll quickly demonstrate the uh, the farming area here so um, so from this um, um, rest stop here uh, I'm able to basically deploy myself and um, go to the farming area so as you can see here I've literally sculpted a wall all the way around the the uh, um, village, village area uh, so that way all the pillagers will kind of you know spawn and then basically stay within inside the wall limits okay so basically uh, what I'm gonna do is I'll quickly do a quick lap around the uh, wall here just so it's just as you can see what it looks like
Oop. Out of the villager that come out of the uh, spawn here. Oops, that's not a good yellow. Oh, come on, die you. Come on, hurry up. Ah, oh, jeez, I hate playing this thing in the water. Come on, hurry up. Oh, come on. You jerk. Come on, hurry up. Hurry up. Yeah, there you go. That's it. Take that. Come on. Ah, oh. okay, jerk. <laughs> Alright, so you can tell I'm not very good at fighting these guys. Um, so, uh, let's go start from the beginning. That's why I built the bed right, 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 nice and close to the thing. Ha! Ha! That's for above! Ha! Ah, ah, there we go. Okay, now get rid of that. Revenge. Okay, give me my flag. Okay, so, um, about the sort of slush, small interruption in uh, my plan here. Um, so, uh, I'm gonna basically go over, uh, around uh, here again and. Um, Show you that, that so that was the uh, entire lap around the entire thing so it's sort of designed to sort of keep all the village, uh, pillagers inside the the wall uh, the occasional one does sneak out um, but anyway the idea is that the, it attracts the pillagers and the pillagers will come to this window here and um, this window here basically allows me to um, you know have access to the, to, to the pillagers legs here and then basically I just use my sword and slash them at the bottom here, and, uh, and uh, basically cut them at the legs, and, uh, and of course the bow at that particular angle that they're going at, um, they can't hit me with the with their bows or the crossbow. So as I slash them here, they attract all the other buddies, and uh, their buddies come along, and then you, you can slash them too, and you just keep whacking at them here until they uh, all, uh, you know, until the entire wave of them all uh, die off, and then, then of course then you can go in there. And uh, go and harvest uh, the both experience points and any bows that they happen to have dropped. And so here I'm just about done here, so I'll just uh, open up the uh, last hex here and uh, allows me to basically walk in there and kill off the last guy and collect up anything that just happened to be lingering and not uh, there. Uh, so, you know, so very simplistic, uh, you know, uh, a pillaging, uh, uh, killing zone here thing uh, that, uh, you know, if you want some quick and easy experience points, uh, that's a you know, nice way to go here. Anyway. We'll continue on with our trip down the lane here. Okay, so uh, you're almost at the end of the tunnel here. Um, so this is uh, basically the uh, map that uh, is available on the uh, lucy.first.net uh, server. And um, uh, I think they are still going to have this up for a little bit longer. Um, this is February of 2021. I do believe they're good until about midway through the year before this server shut down. But, you know, give it a look and have a look at, at, at these different things. This will posterize uh, that. Uh, the new server is going to be called uh, lulufarms.net. Uh, there's a really strange uh, RPG section on there that uh, uh, will go and, uh, before you actually get to the actual village and uh, town that does the build there. But, um, you know, that needs work, so who knows. And, uh, you know, a bit of a um, various, uh, th uh, you know, learning stuff that needs to be done by the admins uh, over there. But do give that a try if you have, have a chance to that. Okay, so that's the end of this video, and I hope you uh, had a good laugh at it, and uh, hopefully I'll be making more uh, an another day. Till next time, see you again.